Hi guys, uh, this is Dario here. Hope you're well. Uh, I'm here today to uh, bring you uh, more videos. I believe you guys uh, said to me that you really like the videos I've posted so far. Uh, so sorry that I haven't posted uh, a bit in the last few few weeks, few months. But I promise that I will do more often right now. You know, so. I've shown you a few things already, but I want to move a little bit more now uh, and I want to help as many as I can in this uh, forex business. Um, we know the normal moving average have two problems. You know a lot about moving averages already. We have the weighted moving average, uh, simple moving average, exponential moving average, and a lot a host of them. However, they have two big problems. One is that they are usually lagging in following the price. So they don't follow the price as they should. They are lagging behind. Secondly is that they are not always smooth. Um, they are ragged. Uh, some people will apply another indicator to smoothing a moving average. Or people will double up two moving averages in order to smoothen it average of averages um, but there is a solution which a guy called Alan Hall developed uh, he developed uh, this moving average as well however he attempt to solve these two problems he attempt to solve the lagging problem and he attempt to solve the coveness of the moving average problem I believe he achieved both. Uh, as you can see on my screen, this is also a moving average, but it's a different kind of moving average. It is called Alan Hall moving average. Alan Hall moving average. So I have applied it on my charts. Uh, here it is. Uh, I should know that this is a custom indicator. It is not the normal moving average. Uh, so you might not you might not get it with your default MetaTrader platform, but the good news is it's a free indicator. You shouldn't buy it; it's free. You can download it online. Um, however, if you struggle to find how to download it, all you need to do is uh, subscribe to this channel and send me your email address. I will send one to you free of charge. So this is the all moving average so I'm gonna go into the property so you can see what it's in there so they call it HMA which is all moving average so um, I will go into the property for all moving average here it is price uh, zero means it's a closed price one if you put one it means you're looking at open price uh, if you put two, you're looking at uh, high, three, low, etc. But we're we are using uh, a close price. This is the period. It's the same thing as any other moving average when you put 14 uh, or 7 or 21, depending on uh, how much period you want to use to calculate your moving average. So this time I'm using 14. Percentage filter is if you want it to even be smoother or not smoother, you can change this percentage filter. But at the moment, I, I'm leaving it at zero. Color mode and color uh, bar black is just all the color have been displayed on this chart. So you can play around with those two numbers. Usually, it's either with one or zero. So alert is if you want to get alert and warning if you want to receive warning. Color uh, blue will show that it is uh, bullish and red is uh, bearish. So you can design yours to look exactly like this, uh, but I find these colors easy for me to, to look at. Okay, now how do we play with this indicator? Um, as you can see, it is very responsive to price. Uh, I may as well add the normal moving average so you will see the difference. Um, so 
what you do in this case is you will watch out for the change in color or change in direction so when you see color changing from a blue to a red that signify that you need to shut that pair you need to sell that pair so at this point at this level this is where you will sell uh, this is the point at which it changes color but the confirmation is on this next bar the other good news about this indicator is that what you see is what you get there is no repainting of this indicator many indicators look very good on the chart but they are repainted what do i mean by repainting the painting is when you see an indicator on the chart that looks very good but they are using the benefit of hindsight that means when it was really life it is a different picture to what you are looking so the the calculations were based as if they are using historical chart and historical data and not a live data so this indicator does not repaint what you see on the chart is what you get so as i said at this point you will short the market here this is just an example of how you can use this indicator and you will you will cover your position at here so here it's about 18 pips color changes again from here color changes again you will also buy from here and then you remember that this is where it covers here you will get 11 pips again if you sell from here if you sell from here and you cover your position here this time around you are going to lose 12 pips so this is not a foolproof uh, system uh, in my next video i will help you to actually filter out some of bad trades using this method uh, but you can play around with it um, I am sure you will find it interesting and probably you know one thing you can add to any system that you already have it's very useful uh, if you are lucky here we might be able to make a trade so that you can see from here we will have shot the market from here and currently we'll be looking at about HP okay here we go so now we have uh, blue color which is forming right we have a blue color that is forming it means we need to buy right now so i will say buy the market here and then we'll see what happens so usually uh, this indicator will keep changing will keep uh, going with this blue color that is is uh is advancing in price and when you see uh, the color change uh, you exit your position that's one method to exit the other method is where you think you have enough pips you exit your you have a target pips you exit your uh, trade or you can actually um, trail your position so it depends on what you want to do um, you can see that this is still going in our favor so you keep watching this blue color and as soon as it goes to red you will come out of your position uh, you can you can look at this over time that the indicator is pretty accurate it's pretty accurate as i said earlier in my next video i will show you how to filter out some of the bad trade for example here uh, you don't want to sell here because you don't have enough rooms to make any much pips before the color changed and um, remember that we are only using one minute uh, this is a one minute chart just for you to understand how it work uh, so if i go back to what we have done so far let's see what our price is doing now so our price is still run about where we have bought it uh, we purchased it and right now we are let's see what we are 
so we purchased it at 77 772 that is where we purchased it so we are 775 which is still uh, we're in profit but uh, it is not that very much so this is just to show you that this indicator is pretty accurate it is easy to follow there is no gimmicks it is pretty damn easy all you need to do is watch the color uh, you can actually do some more work if you are a programmer to put arrows when the color change that will help you as well so I will close this video by taking our profit which is about three pips we entered at 110772 and current price is 110880 okay I close it now so that we can see so it's closed with a three pip profit but we're still moving on uh, the color hasn't changed yet uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, in my next video uh, which I believe you'll be looking forward to read I will show you how to filter out some of the bad trades that may occur so thank you for watching I appreciate uh, your time and I really really love the fact that you guys are encouraging me to do more videos and hope you enjoy it thank you once again goodbye